Kosa mtazamaji kwa taarifa hizo na nyinginezo kwenye meza yetu ya Darubini ya Channel 1. Tunakupa fursa ya kufuatilia taarifa hizi kupitia mtandao wa Facebook a uh, KBC TV. Na vile vile mtazamaji unaweza kuwasiliana nasi kupitia Instagram ama vile vile uh, Twitter at Ahmed Jumabalo at uh, Betty Gatonye na at KBC Channel 1. Tazama taarifa zetu tutumie hisia zako kuhusiana na taarifa tutakazopeperusha alafu hapo baadaye utapitia maoni yenu. Hai mtazamaji karibu mimi naitwa Beatrice Gatonyenge Teach. Mimi ni Ahmed Jumabalo. Kasoro za uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka 2017 zilimwandama Dr. Catherine Kamindo alipofika mbele ya jopo la uteuzi la tumehuri uchaguzi na uratibu wa mipaka humo nchini IEBC siku ya Alhamisi katika jumba la mikutano ya kimataifa la KICC. Daktari Kamindo alikuwa mkuu wa kundi la kujumlisha matokeo katika ukumbi wa boma wakati uchaguzi mkuu uliopita na likabiliwa na wakati mgumu kuelezea ni nini haswa kilitendeka na jinsi ambavyo atakabiliana na visa vya aina hiyo endapo vitatokea siku za baadaye Caroline Jerry Nganga na Cecilia Ngoyoni pia walihojiwa na jopo hilo la uteuzi la IEBC likiongozwa na mwenyekiti wake Elizabeth Muli Akiojiwa na jopo la uteuzi la tume ya IBC Dr. Catherine Kamindo anayeshikilia shahada ya uzamifu katika masuala ya sera za elimu na usimamizi na ambaye alikuwa mshirikishi mkuu kwenye kituo cha kujumlisha matokeo cha Bomas wakati uchaguzi mkuu uliopita alikabiliwa na wakati mgumu kueleza ni kwa nini mahakama ilipata makosa makubwa ya uchaguzi kiasi cha kufutilia mbali matokeo ya uchaguzi wa Urais It's actually affected by by factors that may be beyond the commission for instance there was the question of uh, of some polling stations that did not prom that did not manage to transmit aidha alikuwa na wakati mgumu kueleza jopo hilo iwapo ni makao makuu ya IBC au makamishna wa tume hiyo walio na mamlaka na pia jukumu la kubaini mipaka ya county let me just help you i'm asking about county boundaries Yes. county boundaries which also coincide with L, with constituency boundaries the county boundaries are not a mandate of uh, of of the commission because they are administrative boundaries whose ba mandate is it the county the, it's the mandate of uh, of um, caroline njeri nganga ambaye ni mshauri wa masuala ya usimamizi wa kifedha alikuwa wa pili kuujiwa huko akitoa mapendekezo kuhusu namna ambavyo IBC inapaswa kukabiliana na ufisadi na kusimamia zoezi la kusajili wapiga kura walio ugenini that some of the resources that are used to put clerks in stations where Kenyans are required to come and register as voters maybe we can readjust that uh, that expenditure and have mass voter registration happening at other intervals other than just before the election Cecilia Ngoyoni ambaye ni mkurugenzi wa kitengo cha katiba katika masuala ya bunge kwenye ofisi ya rais alikuwa mtaini wa watatu kuujiwa siku ya alamisi alisema atatilia maanani uhuru wa asasi muhimu za serikali ili kuepusha muingiliano wa masuala baina ya tume hiyo na makao makuu ya IBC we have conflict of interest mosso conflict of interest of the majority tribes so i believe that and this is my personal opinion that IBC needs a lot of neutrality and that the presence of minority communities is by itself a stabilizing factor in IBC. Siku ya Ijumaa Dr. Daina Jeruto Kipkebut Omoro Osendo na Felix Oseru Nyauchi wataujiwa na jopo hilo la uteuzi. Afisa moja wa polisi wa Kike anayeshukiwa kumuua mwenzake kaunti ya Nakuru pamoja na mwanamume mwingine katika eneo la Ruiru kaunti ya Kiambu mapema wiki hii angalia na sakwa na polisi tayari operesheni ya kumtafuta afisa huyo imeanzishwa huku idara ya ujasusi kitoa wito kwa wananchi kutoa habari kuhusu alipo afisa huyo anaaminika kuwa na bunduki mbili zilizo na risasi wakutathmini yaliyojiri maafisa wa kijasusi walizuru hoteli ya Deda Max huko Ruiru katika kaunti ya Kiambu ambapo Koblo Caroline Kangogo anaishukiwa kumwa afisa mwenzake uko na kuru anadaiwa kutekeleza mauaji ya mwanaume mwingine we compile our evidence so that uh, the evidence can praise you to the sin and to the offense hapa ndipo Koplo Kangogo anadaiwa kulala akiwa na Peter Ndwiga ambaye mwili wake ulipatikana kwenye chumba cha hoteli hiyo. Wakaona lunch, wakakula lunch. 
wanakufa na wakakaa finally kitu saa 9 na 20 waka clear bill zao tukaacha by saa 9 na 20 hivi za 10 wakatoka bado haijabainika alipo afisa huyo wa polisi huku maafisa wa polisi wakisema wanafuata habari muhimu kumsaka i cannot say about kangogo right now but of course we know there is an incident that is touching on kangogo in, in nakuru and i think the officers in nakuru they are also doing their own investigation tayari polisi wamechapisha picha za mshukio huyo huku wakita uweto kwa wanainchi kwa wangalifu kwa ni afisa huyo amejihami our case in juja we are also giving uh, appealing to the members of public if they are able to identify because there are some pictures already that we have run and they are even on the DCI Twitter that can help us to identify the identity of this woman. Tukichana na tarifa hiyo mtazamaji wanaume watatu wakiwemo baba na wanawe wamekatakato hadi kufa na gari lao kuteketezo jana usiku katika eneo la Junju kaunti ya Kilifi wakishukiwa kuwa wateka jinyara. Kulingana na kamishna wa eneo la pwani John Elungata wanaume hao wakiwemo wawili wenye asili ya bara Asia na raia mmoja wa humu nchini walikuwa kwenye shughuli za kununua ardhi wakati walipokumbana na mauti hayo. Mita miambili kutoka eneo la tukio hilo ni mabaki ya gari. Maafisa wa polisi waliendelea na shughuli yao ya kuchunguza kisa hicho huku wakazi wa eneo hilo wakitazama kwa mbali. Watatu hao wakiwemo baba na mwanawe wa kiume pamoja na dereva wao walipoteza maisha yao mikononi mwa wakazi wa eneo hilo baada ya kushukiwa kuwa wateka jinyara. Hapo na postmama ni shamba la watu fulani wa Arabu ambao wamekuwa na title kwa miaka mingi. Haya mashamba yanafuatana wenyewe wanaishi Mombasa. Kwa hivyo nafikiri wale ambao wanaishi katika ili shamba kwa sababu hawaimiliki walipowaona hawa wanakuja wakawasingizia na kuwaua. Lakini wakazi walishikilia msimamo wao kuwa walikuwa washukiwa kuwa ni hawangeweza kueleza shughuli waliokuwa wakitekeleza katika eneo hilo. Walikuwa miembeni kwa sababu watoto wenda kwa maembe na kwa wameenda kuketi huko bila shughuli yoyote wanaoifanya huko. Katika hali ya kuojiwa nafikiri ndio kosa kueleweka ndo kijiji kikachukua uamuzi wa kwamba hawa watu kuna tatizo la kuchukua watu macho huku na huku hawa za kwani wale walifu wanaochukua watu macho usiku usiku na kuchukua sehemu za siri za watu kwenda kuzi kwenda kuzifanyia biashara ambazo hazieleweki lakini hao kuwa wakisani ardhi ardhi shida hii haianzi leo wala jana ni kizazi na kizazi kisa hicho kinajiri huku kukiwa na habari kwamba watoto wawili walitoweka wiki zilizopita na wangali hawajapatikana nikiripoti ya darubini kutoka kaunti ya Kilifi mimi ni Anburu Tarifa hiyo mtazamaji na tutamatishia awamu ya kwanza ya darubini ya Channel 1 jioni ya leo. Asante sana kwa kwa wewe ambaye unaendelea kusema nasi. Endelea kufanya hivyo kupitia mitandao ya kijamii at KBC Channel 1 at Ahmed Juma Balo na at Betty Getonye kwenye mtandao wa uh, Twitter na kwenye Facebook ni KBC Channel 1 TV. Toa maoni yako hapo. Na muona Rose Kasichana anasema anatazama kutoka maeneo ya Serengeti, Malindi asante sana, Gabriel Katoto Reda kutoka maeneo ya Lamanga na kutoka Kiminini, Rashid Yusuf Nazri. Asante sana kwa kuendelea kutazama kutoka maeneo ya Kiminini. Naam, shukrani sana mtazamaji, tutumie maoni yako, alafu tutapitia hapo baadaye. Kwa hivi sasa tupate pumziko fupi. Tisa. Kivumbi cha mashindano ya dunia ya safari rali kimerejea nchini Kenya kama alivyoahidi Rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Wiki hii kwenye Project 254. Najivunia si kama vijana na wale wenye wanatambua ku drive 
at least serikali imetutambua hizi mbio za safari rari na ziona ziko sawa kwa kuwa zime boost boost kazi yetu kulingana na mapato yetu ya kila siku hiyo vumbi ndio pesa yes hiyo vumbi ikuje hivi ndio sasa inakuja tunashukuru sana kwa hiyo vumbi sambili na nusu jioni What does this number mean to you? A pack leader? A winner? Or just a number? To us, it means freshness, boldness, vibrancy and heritage. That's why at KBC Channel 1, we make it easier for you to pop up your family entertainment to a fresh, exciting and colorful bouquet. Shukran sana mtazamaji na karibu tena. Wanafunzi wa kidato cha tatu katika shule ya upili ya Kagumo katika eneo bunge la Kiharu kaunti ya Muranga anataka haki kutendeka kufuatia chanjo iliyopewa ya kuzuia ugonjwa wa pepo punda ambayo imesababisha kulema kwa mguu na mkono wake upande wa kushoto. Joseph Mwangi amesema alipata chanjo hiyo mwaka uliopita baada ya kuhusika kwenye ajali ya pikipiki chanjo ambayo imemletea madhara wasimamizi wa hospitali ya Maragwa level 4 wamesema umeanzisha uchunguzi kuhusiana na kisa hicho Joseph Mwangi ni mtu mwenye uchungu Mwaka uliopita alikuwa mzima kabla ya kuhusika kwenye ajali ya pikipiki iliyomwacha na majeraha lakini kilichosababisha madhara mwilini mwake ni chanjo aliyopewa katika hospitali ya Maragwa level 4 Mwanafunzi huyo wa kidato cha tatu katika shule ya upili ya Kagumo anadai kwamba baada ya kupata chanjo hiyo ya kuzuia ugonjwa wa pepo punda alianza kufura mguu na mkono wake wa kushoto after kudugwa shidano ilianza kufura mkono the next day na kurudi shule nikaripoti kwa mwalimu mkono inafura after kudungwa nikapewa ruhusa nienda huko waangalie shida ilikuwa nini nienda na nikampata daktari after kupata daktari nikampea kadi yangu akaingia kwa injection room nikamgoja hapo nje mpaka nikachoka na siku muona tena sijaenda shule na bado masomo inaendelea na ningeomba kurudi shule haraka the minister of education uh my prayer is that they would intervene when such matters arise concerning our student because some of them have no voice upande wa mwangi wa kushoto umelemaa na nataka hospitali hiyo kuwajibikia swala hilo Wasimamizi wa hospitali hiyo wamesema watachunguza kiso hicho. Bentro Njue, Darubini. Tukisonga mbele mtazamaji serikali imepeleka maafisa zaidi wa kuwalinda watoto kwenye kaunti ili kuhakikisha kwamba haki zao zinalindwa kwa mujibu wa sheria. Waziri wa leba na huduma kwa jamii Simon Chilugui anasema kila eneo bunge hapa nchini sasa lina afisa wa kulinda watoto kinyume cha siku zilizopita ambapo kila kaunti ilikuwa na afisa mmoja pekee. Chilugui alitamka hayo mwishoni mwa kongamano la wadau la siku mbili lililoandaliwa na baraza linalojumuisha dini mbali mbali na kuhudhuria wa na zaidi ya wajumbe 300 kutoka pembe zote za Jamhuri ya Kenya. Include dissemination and implementation of the National Prevention and Response Plan on Violence Against Children 2019-2023 which I have given to this to you. Presidential Secondary Bursary Fund, the CDF Education Bursary, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund Education Bursary, among others. These, include, these initiatives have had significant impact on poverty reduction and consequently accelerated protection, empowerment and equal opportunities that have enabled children to enjoy their rights.
Mtazamaji Kenya leo imenakili visa 566 vya maambukizi mapya ya COVID-19 baada ya kupima sampuli 5344 katika muda wa saa 24 zilizopita kutokana na hali hiyo idadi ya, ya jumla ya watu waliothibitishwa kuwa na virusi vya corona humu nchini imefikia watu uh, 1087525 baada ya kupima sampuli alfu mbi, uh, milioni mbili uh, zaidi ya milioni mbili na wagonjwa kumina moja wameripotiwa kufariki kutokana na ugonjwa huo moja wao katika muda huo wa saa 24 ili hali wengine kumi ni kufuatia uchunguzi uliofanywa kwenye taasisi za afya mnamo ta, e, tarehe mbali mbali I, ibadi ama idadi kumradhi yaliyofariki kutokana na janga hilo sasa imefikia watu 3716 wakati huo huo wagonjwa 1934 wamepona ambapo 1693 ni wale waliokuwa wametengwa na kuhudumiwa nyumbani ili hali watu 241 ni wale waliokuwa wamelazwa kwenye taasisi mbalimbali za afya humu nchini Haya tunaelekea kwenye mapumziko mengine. Na tutakaporudi mtazamaji mwenzangu Beatrice atakuja na taarifa za biashara. have been in contact with someone who is suspected or has tested positive for COVID-19, self-quarantine for 14 days and call 719 for help. Self-quarantine restricts movements and the spread of the disease and protects your family, friends and community from being infected. During self-quarantine, you are advised to stay in a separate room, disinfect surfaces and clothing with appropriate disinfectant, avoid sharing household items including utensils, towels and beddings, do not receive visitors, wear an appropriate face mask if you must be around other people. COVID-19 is preventable. Protect yourself, family and the community. This message has been brought to you by the government of Kenya and its partners. Siku moja mosquito ilipata ujauzito ikasa mtoto. Sasa hiyo mama ya mosquito ikatoka mtoto mosquito iende kapiga doria iwaje kukaa kwa nyumba. Sasa hii mtoto mosquito ikaenda ikaenda ikarudi. Hii mtoto mosquito ikaambia mama yake, "Mama mimi nimeenda kila mahali watu wanapigia mimi makofi. Watu wamefurahiana na mimi sana." Mama hii mosquito ikaambia mtoto yake, "Hao wapigie wewe makofi eti wanafurahia wewe. Hiyo walikuwa wanataka kuua wewe." Ili kupata sikiza tion hiyo ya mosquito Bonyeza star 811 star 967 hash Bonyeza star 811 star 967 hash mtazamaji karibu sasa nikueleze ama nikujuze ya biashara mwenzangu Timothy Kipnusu upande ule mwingine naye yuko ngangari kabisa kukuletea zile za viwanjani iwapo wewe ni mwanachama wa mpango wa malipo ya uzeeni ambaye akiba yake kwenye mpango huo haiwezi kugaramia kikamilifu gharama ya ununuzi wa nyumba au malipo ya pole pole ya nyumba hiyo basi haina haja ya kuwa na wasiwasi benki ya ushirika nchini kwa ushirikiano na kampuni ya kifedha ya Enwealth Financial Services imezindua huduma ya utoaji mikopo ya ununuzi wa nyumba kwa kutumia akiba ya wanachama wa mpango wa malipo ya uzeeni ambao asilimia 40 ya akiba yao haiwezi kufadhili kikamilifu gharama ya ununuzi wa nyumba ambayo itafadhili asilimia sitini iliyosalia ya bei ya ununuzi wa nyumba yafuatayo ni maelezo kamili ya mpango huo na taarifa nyingine kwenye msitu wetu wa taarifa za biashara 
Benki ya ushirika nchini imeshirikiana na shirika la kifedha la N Wealth Financial Services kuzindua huduma ya mkopo wa ununuzi wa nyumba kupitia mpango wa malipo ya uzeni inayowalenga wanachama wa mipango hiyo ya malipo ya uzeni. Huduma hiyo pia inawalenga zaidi ya wanachama milioni tatu wa mipango ya malipo ya uzeni nchini hasa wale ambao akiba zao kwenye mipango hiyo ni chini ya asilimia arobaini ya kiwango cha kwanza kinachohitajika kuwekezwa wakati wa kununua nyumba kupitia malipo po ya polepole watakaonufaika na huduma hiyo wataweza kulipia nyumba hizo kwa muda wa miaka 20 kulingana na umri wa kistaafu wakati huo huo vyama vyote vya ushirika vitakuwa chini ya almashauri ya kudhibiti sekta hiyo iwapo mabadiliko yaliyopendekezwa kwa sheria ya vyama vya ushirika yataidhinishwa Waziri wa Kilimo Peter Munya amesema kuwa kuna haja ya vyama vyote vya ushirika kudhibitiwa katika juhudi za kulinda michango ya wanachama If you want some financial services like a loan from a circle, go to those circles that are complying. Don't go to the others that have refused to comply with the law. If you go there and you lose your money, don't blame the public. Hatimaye, waziri wa fedha Ukuriatani ameagiza mashirika ya umma ambayo yamekuwa kitegemea ufadhili wa serikali kuimarisha utendakazi wao na kuanza kujitegemea. Mashirika hayo 18 ya umma yanahitaji usaidizi wa takriban shilingi bilioni sabini kila mwaka kuendeleza shughuli zao. wa Kenya tunaelekea Japan. Bila shaka mtazamaji kwenye michezo ya Olimpiki na hii leo uh, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta mm -hmm. alikabidhi uh, kikundi uh, cha timu ambayo itatuwasilisha kule Japan Cup mm -hmm. nusu. Uh, tueleze mengi zaidi kuhusiana na labda safari ya wa Kenya kuelekea Japan. Uh, bila shaka uh, kama lumeodokeza hapo awali ni kwamba Malkia Strikers ambayo bila shaka ni timu ya volleyball ya kina dada ndio itakuwa timu ya kwanza kuondoka na hatumai kwamba wa sasa wako njiani kuelekea kule Kurume uh, kujiandaa kwenye michezo hiyo Olimpiki na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta hii leo aliweza kuweka bayana kwamba serikali yake itaweza kujiza titi kuweza kuwekeza katika masuala ya michezo kukuza vipaji mm -hmm. va vijana bila shaka taarifa hiyo mtazamaji nitakuwa na kufahamisha kwa muda usio kwa mrefu na arifio ni sasa hivi karibu kwenye habari za sporti mimi naitwa Timothy Kipnusu na ngonanga na taarifa kwamba Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amesema serikali yake imejitolea kuhakikisha kuwa inakuza talanta za wanamichezo chipukizi wa homu nchini kwa kuwekeza zaidi katika michezo Rais Kenyatta alihakikisha hayo alipokuwa kikabidhi bendera timu ya taifa ya Kenya itakayoshiriki kwenye michezo ya Olimpiki ya Tokyo mwaka na ishirini itakayoanza tarehe tatu mwezi huu nchini Japan Takriban wana michezo 130 wataakilisha taifa hili kwenye michezo ya Olimpiki ya Tokyo 2020 itakayoandaliwa kuanzia tarehe tatu mwezi huu hadi nane mwezi Agosti baada ya kukabidhiwa bendera ya taifa leo na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Kikosi cha Kenya kitakachoondoka humu nchini kwa vikundi tofauti kitashiriki katika fani zaidi ya tatu huku kikinuia kuandikisha matokeo bora ikilinganishwa na matokeo ya michezo ya Rio miaka mitano iliyopita. Sports in our country has also attracted the best talents and brought together personalities and professionals from across the country and our values of hard work and service to the nation are deeply entrenched in our athletes the 2020 Tokyo Olympics is another opportunity for us to promote these qualities that position us for success in the sporting world and for this reason my government has and will continue to support you as you take part in this year's olympic competition Rais Kenyatta aliwasii na michezo hao kutolegezwa na janga la virusi vya corona kutia bidii na kuandikisha matokeo bora ndipo sawa wa motisha chipukizi watakaofuata nyao zao kwa sababu serikali yake imewekeza zaidi katika michezo humu nchini This journey unfortunately has been characterized by the uncertainties due to the COVID-19 pandemic which amongst other challenges resulted in the postponement 
of the Olympic Games last year. However, despite and even in the face of this pandemic, we have all remained confident in the abilities of our sportsmen and women and our history in athletic competition is well known. Our victories celebrated globally and we are certain that this team will also bring the same glory to our country. Malkia Strikers itakuwa timu ya kwanza kuwasili nchini Japan huku timu nyingine zikifuata nyuma kwani timu hizo zinasafiri kwa vikundi kuzuia kusambaa kwa virusi vya corona timu hizo za Kenya zimekuwa zikifanya mazoezi ya kufungiwa sawa na jinsi watakavyofanya nchini Japan Today I'm pleased to present to you the athletes who will be representing our country in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics they are a testimony of our collective resilience and we are confident, Your Excellency, that they, they are well prepared and that they are all ready for the championship. Kenya will be sending a total of 113 athletes to this year's Olympics and Paralympic competitions. And we have put in place extensive measures to ensure their safety and their welfare. Kenya ilimaliza katika nafasi ya 15 kwenye michezo ya Olimpiki ya Rio miaka mitano iliyopita kwa kunyakua jumla nishani 13 dhahabu 6 fedha 6 na shaba moja Buckley fedha darubini michezo Shukran Bakli Fedha kwa taarifa hiyo bila shaka kutoka chumba chetu cha habari tunawatakia kila laheri uh, wa Kenya uh, wachezaji wote ambao watakuwa na tuweza kushiriki kwenye michezo hiyo Olimpiki kama alivyosema Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni muhimu sana waweze kupeperusha bendera ya Kenya kwenye taifa hilo la Japan kufikia hapo sila la ziada ila kukunja jamvi eh, darubini sporti hata hivyo najua kwa sasa baadhi tu ya mashabiki wa timu ya Italia wanasubiria zaidi mechi babu kubwa kati ya timu ya Italia na Uingereza ambayo itagaragazwa siku ya Jumapili. Hapo awali balo liko umeshabikia sana timu hiyo ya Uingereza. Lakini Boni Msambi <laughs> vile vile ni fadi mkubwa na anashabikia sana timu ya Uingereza na najua jana hakulala usingizi <laughs> wa mangamu mangamu. <laughs> na na bila shaka kufiki hapo sina la ziada na itatimo kipnusu na urejesha usukani kwa mabingwa uh, Juma balo pamoja na Beatles Gatonye kukamisha no, Shukran sana uh, Kipnusu Na tazamaji tureje kwenye tarifa za humu nchini Na wanahabari tunomboleza Raisu Rukinyata amejunga na wanahabari wa humu nchini Kumomboleza wanahabari mkongwe Hillary Boniface Mweno Alifariki jana Kwenye risala yake ya rambirambi Kiongozi wa taifa alimtaja marehemu Mweno Kuwa mkenye shupavu Hambaye mchango wake katika ukuzaji wa sekta ya habari nchini utakum, Utakumbukwa daima Kwenye risala yake ya kufariji marafiki, jamaa na familia marehemu, raisi Kenyata amesema kwamba mweno alikuwa mzalendo shupavu ambaye licha ya kuwa na fursa nyingi kufanya kazi katika nchi za kigeni. Alitumia marifa yake ya wana habari kufahamisha na kuelimisha wa Kenya kuhusu maswala ya kisiasa, kijamii na kiuchumi nchini. Marehemu Hilary Ngweno alifariki akiwa na umri wa zaidi ya miaka themanini. Wengi waliotuma rambirambi zao ni pamoja na Rose Kimodo, Paul Kalemba, Joseph Odindo na Washira Waruru, mkurugenzi mkuu wa Royal Media Services ambaye wakati mmoja alifanya kazi na marehemu Ngweno katika jarida la Weekly Review. He supported all of us to grow in our careers professionally and provided a conducive environment for that. He was very keen on detail, he was very keen on excellence, and those are lessons that I drew from him even as I moved on into a career in mainstream media and uh, development communications. Marehemu amemwacha mjane na watoto wawili, Bettina na Amolo Ngweno. And what I think that he has left to this country is a legacy for telling the truth and doing high quality work 
through the many journalists that passed through his hands and also through the many productions that he did. I pray that God will give his family peace now that he has rested. Lala palipopema Hilary Ngweno. Na mtazamaji baada ya taarifa hiyo tanzia sasa ni wakati ule wa kuingia darasani na kumwelekea <laughs> <laughs> uh, mwalimu Bitris Gatonyes. Sijui leo umeniandalia nini ama umetuandalia nini mimi na mtazamaji kuhusiana na lugha ishara. Kuna mema, kuna mema. Uh, wakati una, najua unapendelea nyama, samaki na wakati unapokula labda kuna mchele pale wali ama kuna ugali, ugali pale. No. Hicho chakula hakikamiliki wapo hauna mboga. Siku leo tujifunza mboga aina ya kabeji. Hiyo ni kabeji. Hiyo ni kabeji. Mhm. Mm Sikuma wiki. Siku nyingine nitajaribu nita kutafuta lugha ishara ya Uh, managu <laughs> na njahe <laughs> saga <laughs> na hizo terere <laughs> murenda hizo <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> lakini kwa leo ni kabeji na sukuma na, wiki, sukuma wiki. Yeah. shukran sana kila siku najifunza uh, jambo jipya na anaarifiwa kwamba uh, wanahabari wenzetu wa lugha ishara mm -hmm huwa wanatupatia ama wanatubandika majina mm -hmm. mimi bado sijaarifiwa jina langu pengine wiki ijayo mm -hmm. kama tutaweza tulete mmoja ama wewe unieleze wamenipatia mimi jina gani kama Ahmed Jumabalo lugha eh, jina langu kwa lugha ishara Lucy Mahora tafadhali kazi kwako hakikisha <laughs> kwamba uh, Ahmed Jumabalo ana jina la ishara najua jina langu hilo nitakuwa nikiwafunza hapo baadaye mm. kwa leo ilikuwa ni siku ya mboga hata hivyo asante sana jina la Kipnusu pia jina lake Boni jina lake Sarafina <laughs> Haritsalim. Hayo yote itakuwa vizuri mtazamaji kuweza kujua wanahabari wa KBC kwa lugha ishara. Hata hivyo asante sana. Itakuwa ni masala ambayo tutakuwa tukijifunza kwa siku zijazo. Uh, Imekuwa fahari yetu mtazamaji wiki hii kukuletea darubini ya Channel 1 tufanye vivi hivi tena wiki ijayo majaliwa. Mimi sina la ziada. <laughs> na niruhusu niseme kwamba kipnusu mimi nishampatia jina. Tuweza muita hivi. <laughs> Na mtazamaji mimi ni Ahmed Jumabalo tukutane tena wiki ijayo siku ya Jumatano na Alhamisi. Asalamu alaikum. Asante. Mimi naitwa Beatrice Gatonya ngetichi mtangazaji wa ishara siku ya leo ni Lucy Mwaura.